So let's talk about adding background pages manually. Now, if you use the Design tab and you click on the Backgrounds drop-down, you can add a background to a drawing, which creates a background page that you can see down here. You've got a italics on the very right end of the page tab bar. That tells you it's a background page. If we come back here, we can select details. If we're on page one, we can't click any of that, but we can see it. But there are cases when you need to know how to manually add these background pages or deassign them to foreground pages. So let's talk about that right now. I'll just hit undo to get rid of that background right there. And we're back with one page as we started with. So first, let's just double click on this shape and say insert field page info page name. So this is just a little trick I like to use. So we know that this is page one and this is page one. And now what I'm going to do is right click on this tab. Let's restore and get a little bit of room so you can see. When I right click, I can choose insert page. And that brings up the page setup dialog. Now I'm going to create a background page this time. So instead of clicking foreground, we'll click background. And Visio proposes a name like this. I usually use something a little bit more compact like BG1 so that I use up less space in the page tabs below. So we'll say OK. And you can see we've got italic text for the name of the background page. It's been inserted. We've got two page tabs. Let's copy this shape Go back here and paste it. And sure enough, it says BG1. And we'll put it down here and give it some gaudy colors just so it stands out. Now let's give it some red text. And so when we're on BG1, we can select it and move it around, select it and deselect it. You can see the blue handles. When we're on page one, we don't see it at all. So what happened? Well, that's because we haven't assigned it yet. So again, we can right click on a page tab and return to page setup. Or if you like to use the ribbon, go over to the, uh, let's see, is it the design tab? And you'll see there's a page setup group and a dialog box launcher right there. Just click that. You get the same dialog. Go over to page properties, which is the middle tab, and you'll see the background field is a drop down list that now has BG1 as one of the options. So we're going to select that for page one. We're going to assign background one to it. So I'll say OK, and all of a sudden, the background shows up. Now you can see the black and the red text is there, but I can't click on it and do anything. If I move my shape down here, it's on top of it. It doesn't sh show up. Interesting thing about inserting fields is that when I'm on this page, the field shows as the name of the page, but background page fields actually show through to foreground pages with interesting information on them. So now we've got page one selected, if we insert a page, what does insert page do? It copies the active page with all of its settings. So we'll do that, and we get a new page, and you'll see that p the background comes along with it. Let's go and copy this shape and paste it. And you can see that our field picked up the name of page two is in fact page two. But because of the tricks of the inserted fields coming from backgrounds, you can see that page two shows as page two, even though it's a background shape. Page one shows as page one, even though that's on the background. And again, it's really the BG1 page. So we've been working on our page. Maybe we create other backgrounds, or we decide we don't want this black box showing through. How do we get rid of the background from page two? Well, again, we return to the page setup dialog. And I think it, the easiest way is just to right click the page tab. Go to page setup. See this background page, uh, background field right here. Go to the drop down, select none from it, hit OK. And we have deassigned or unassigned BG1 from being the background for page two. And that's all there is to it. Again, just to see what happens now to compare if we're on page two and we go to the design tab, which we're already on, we click a background and say, let's insert the world. You'll see Visio creates a new background called V background one and inserts this global graphic shape onto it. Page two, you can't actually select the graphics for the globe, but you can still select the foreground shapes. Page one is still showing BG1 as its background. 
and BG1 is still here where we put it at the beginning of the video. So that's how you manually manipulate background pages. It's not too hard, but it's just a matter of getting to the page setup dialog and assigning backgrounds or deassigning them. Okay, that's enough for background pages.